so here I have uh, a link for what I call deep link. Now there's nothing on this page at all, but in the preview here, it's going to show as my login page. If we let the preview run here real quick, see now it's showing as my login page. And the reason why is because I have it, what I'm telling it to do is to redirect to that page instantly. Now, there's two different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you the easy way to do it. Uh, it's I don't think it's as good necessarily, but it's the easy way without having to get into a bunch of code. But so if I click on this and we go take a look at this page, what it's going to do, as you can figure, is it's going to take me straight away to the uh, to this page right here, even though that's not the page. So let's go inside and let's edit that page. Okay, so like I said, this is the fancy way, and I'll show you real quick here the uh, the other way. So I do two things. One here is this box here will pop up on somebody's screen after five seconds. So if it has not redirected after five seconds, this will pop up, and in here it has the link to the members access page. Actually, I should really have that to the secret signup URL, so I really need to change that. Um, but I also have in here in the tracking code, in the header tracking code, I have all of this, which is what it says. I mean, first off, it says if somebody's not running scripts, that they should refresh the page and go to here, which is the secret signup URL. So let me. So what it says is if somebody's not running scripts, meaning they have JavaScript turned off for some reason, then use this type of script. If not, we want to use this type of script right here. This down here is for something else. Um, but again, so it sets a timeout function and after half a second, because you want the page to load first before you do the redirect or it's not going to work. So you just um, let it uh, load up for half a second and then boom, um, it takes you to the secret signup URL. So that's the complicated way of doing it. The easier way to do it is let's just create a new section and we'll go full width. Doesn't really matter what we do. We're going to add a new row and then we're going to put in a minute timer. And let's see here, minute timer. And then before we go in there, let's grab this URL again. And right here. So we're going to go into the minute timer. And what we're going to say is after one second, we want it to redirect to that page. So whenever somebody comes into this page and lands on it, after one second, it's going to redirect to our secret signup URL. So you don't need all, you don't need this fancy stuff. You don't need, I mean, you could still put this on the page because you could say, hey, if you don't redirect, um, then you do that. Um, and then, so we redirect them to the other page. And then, oh, and then what I normally do is I'll come in and I will hide that. It does not need to be visible on the page. So again, like I said, you can do this up here. Uh, just put in a link. So that if after five seconds, and again, let me see here. I should have a five second delay on this. Let me see here. Advanced animation. Yeah. Scale in after 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. So it will scale in. Um, that's just in case they get here. And for some reason, the redirect isn't working. They can always still click that link and then be redirected. And then what you do is you come into this page and you set up all your metadata. So you get your title, description, images, the whole shoot and match. So then when you go into, let me save this. So now when you go into your social media, what you want to do is put in what I call here my deep link. Other places I'll call it access or, or whatever. Um, that's just what I called it when I built this one. So I would put in cofninjahacks.com slash deep link like right here, if I were to be dropping this into social media anywhere and wanting people to go directly to that sign up page. Now, do you normally want people to go directly to your sign up page? Maybe. I don't know. 
if all your content's free, for sure. If part of your content's free, yeah, um, probably more likely you're going to send them to the front end of your funnel. But that is certainly an option is to send them there. So um, that is it, I think. Yeah, that should be it. All right. Later, man.